let's look at what we mean by the total response. Here we have the the, the equation, the time domain equation of the total response for the uh, parallel RLC circuit with a cosine input. We saw that the current through the inductor was equal to a sinusoidally varying component that we referred to as the steady state component, and there is also the transient component, which dies out exponentially, oscillating at a different frequency. The total response is the sum of those two. Here in this graph, we have we've plotted out the sinusoidal steady state, or the steady state response, the transient response, and the sum of the two. The transient response is represented by this blue graph. As you can see, it starts out with some oscillation, but dies out relatively quickly, based upon or determined by this exponential decay term here. It is oscillating at 24,000 radians per second, but dies out before it gets through one complete oscillation. The steady state response is this red term, and the total response is the green. So the total response consists of the sum of the transient response plus the steady state response. And as the transient response dies out, the total response approaches and ultimately becomes the sinusoidal steady state. So the, uh, the green response then has a transient. It takes a finite length of time for the transient to die out, but then ultimately gets into the sinusoidal steady state, where it continues on indefinitely.